So I just picked up Xenoblade Chronicles 3D on the uh, Nintendo or the new Nintendo 3DS XL. So I, I take it home. I, I been, mind you, I'm very much a half awake, but you know, whatever, right? I've heard there's a lot of cutbacks. They had or at least a chunk of cutbacks that they had to remove out of the game in order to make it fit on the system, which I can understand why. Now, before that, I did try the original version. Now, this, of course, was playing off the Dolphin emulators to see what it was like because there was no way in holy hell I was going to pay $60, $80 to play this fucking game. You know, no game is worth that much unless it's like something that has like gazillions of hours and it happens to be super rare or very uncommon. So people like to mark up the price big time, which they're assholes for. So basically, blah, took it, tried it out in the emulator. Yeah, you know, at least played a couple, like an hour and a half of it, then turned it off, you know, because I didn't want to play too much of it on the emulator. Because the controls were kind of wonky. I was using the Logitech controller at the time. I mean, I had the 360 one, but I was just using the uh, the Logitech controller I have, and it was it was all right, but it was just kind of, the controls are kind of off. Like, your typical controls would be a lot more smoother, but that was just off because the way the emulator, em, yeah, excuse me, emulator likes to collaborate at shit. Because I try to collaborate it doesn't work too well, or at least the time when I tried to use it didn't work too well. Probably works better now, but you get my point. So basically, tried a little bit of it, looked really good. The game looked pretty impressive, especially on the Wii title. Because the Wii titles, you know full well, they're not quite cutting edge on graphics. I mean, there's some games like Legend of Zelda, uh, Skyward Sword, that look gorgeous. But other than that, it wasn't really a system that you would write home about. But, you know, I can appreciate the graphics just the same. And you know, most of the games on there. So basically... I uh, bought this game more recently, the uh, the 3D version, as you already know. So I, I take it, and I crack it open, and I start playing it. Half an hour, I'm really tired, so it's like I can't really focus too much. I fall asleep, wake up, and so I start cracking on the game again. You know, this is when I start exploring a little bit more, playing some of the, the content to its full extent. Uh, that's when I start unraveling the mysteries of what the gameplay is like. And it's like an MMO, basically. It's like this big MMO that's small and compact. Where there's these nice, large areas, at least on the Nintendo 3DS version, there's like these nice, I mean, in the Wii version too, but these nice, l large areas that are just wide and huge. There's so much to do. A lot of NPCs give you quests to go around and kill enemies or find enemies. Oh, I'm sorry, enemies. Find items on the ground or specific special enemies on the ground. It's, it's your typical, if you want to use an example, this is probably the most common, which is unfortunate, uh, World of Warcraft style to that. And just basically go about and, you know, lather and repeat. And you can get special items that way. You can get, you know, coins or cash. At the moment, I freaking was killing so many enemies beforehand, I realized that the quests were... Or really where the fuck to find most of the enemies at first. So I just ran around and grinded for like at least two and a half hours. Just doing some of the story and uh, do, killing enemies randomly. You know, I was just going on a farming spree. That's how I am usually with some games. So I end up farming the crap out of the enemies. And I come back and have a lot of freaking items to trade in. You know, the items to trade in are pretty cool. You know, you just go into the NPC, trade them all in. I mean, some of the items are required for quests sometimes, so I, I just hit screw it. Un unloaded every single one of them, and I'm getting like 25, 27k worth of cash. And I guess early on where I was at in the game, that was quite a bit of money because like, I was able to buy a nice pile of items. At least not a lot, a lot, but just not. I was able to get the prototype um, armor, which I think is pretty good for what the hell is it. I can't, see, I can't remember half their names. I mean, the only name I can really combine into my skull at the moment is Sulk. He's the only character I care about, or I give a shit about. When, of course, I have the uh, sound of mute whenever he talks, though, because between Sulk and his friend, they both sound almost identical. So it's like you cannot understand a word otherwise of who's saying who if there's no subtitles at the bottom. So... So, so basically, the English dubs, uh, I'm just not liking at all. Like, it's just, I, I don't know why. It's just that the, the voices just do not connect with me. Like, they're just, I wouldn't say annoying. It's just sort of like I don't care for them very much. I prefer to have, you know, if I can't really get into it or like their voices, I just prefer to have Japanese or something I can't understand and just go, oh, it looks like I'll look at the bottom of the screen and just read the dialogue down below. But unfortunately, they could not add the Japanese uh, dubs. Or, I'm sorry, the, yeah. They basically add Japanese into the game because, the, you know, the cutbacks of what they had to put into the cartridge. So they couldn't fit everything in there at once, which I understand why, you know, that's just how it is. 
Now, I believe the game has a patch or something, which I don't even know what the hell the patch is even for. Maybe because of some stabilities or some crap like that. Who really knows? I have to go look. I haven't yet to turn off the game or save the game and uh, switch it off, go into the dashboard of the uh, new 3DS XL and just go and see what the hell the update's even about. But uh, Evil Way, is, it's actually really a fun game. It has a lot of positive things, I think, in the game that would overshadow most of the negatives I feel about the game. You know, I mean, it's just the characters, you know, I like the characters so far, they're alright. The voiceovers, I don't care anything for at all. I mean, a lot of people I could see dislike the thing as me, so that way I'm not having some crazy chaos theory in my brain. So, I mean, and so someone's trying to instantly jump up and go, Oh yeah, well, because it was in the UK first. I know, I know. And then GameStop bought it, got some rights to it, and put it in their store, and that's how the rest of its history for the United States. I get it. But, you know, either way, I just don't care for the lingo, language, because it's like, it gets confusing at first, because some people sound exactly the same the way the sound is. It sounds almost the same, like the people, are, like, just, there's no detection or distinction of who's saying what at point, so it gets, you're like, okay, who the fuck's saying that, who the fuck's saying this? You can't tell at first, you really cannot tell. So, like, well, I got good ears, so I can tell. It's like, ah, shut up. So, basically, yeah. <laughs> the... Gameplay, it feels like just like Final Fantasy XII. I actually liked the combat in Final Fantasy XII, so it wasn't such a big deal. It was uh, very live action-ish, or very, um, you know, instant action-ish, where it's just always ongoing when you're in combat, so there's no breaks. And then you basically have a combo system, which is very uh, reminiscent of Chrono Trigger, which is really cool. That's a nice throwback or a nice touch to that. So you'd set up a combination, you do break, then you do a top, a... Um, what is it? A topple, which topple means it knocks the enemy off their feet, and you got time to smash on for a while, which I like that. And then, if you have a third character, then you basically have them chime in too and do whatever they're gonna do. I usually just have um, uh, Shayla, which I remember her name because her boobs. I don't know why. <laughs> I just see epic boobs, and I easily know her name. It's like, oh yeah, that's Shayla. Yeah, boobs. So basically, you have her basically cast like a healing spell or something you know just to heal everybody that's what i do at the last second so if we're doing like a crazy combo we have some damage going and then otherwise everyone's health is full you should just have her use her lightning or thunder bullets or whatever and it does some good damage it does like 2k at least so basically past that point people already know what, what part in the game i'm at currently i'm usually taking my time doing it though and i'm not going to ruin too much for the spoilers so if you want spoilers i'm not going to say anything about that but basically going about throughout the game and just doing all the sub-quests or the side quests that the uh, NPCs have you do. Just doing them all so that way it helps me level and plus gets me like nice little items I can either sell or whatever. And there's actually some gems I can get early on from doing the said quests that are pretty potent so it's pretty nice to get. So overall, I mean if you like a good RPG or JRPG, this game does aim you in the right direction if you want a good game to kill your time with on the N Nintendo 3DS, because it, it means there's not too many games on the system that are, I would say, I wouldn't say memorable, but just one of the lines of keeping you playing for very long. I mean, there's games in there that are pretty quick, like bang, bang, boom, you're done, where this game, it keeps you busy for a long time. And if you like MMOs anyway, but like to go on, like, you're basically a busy person, you like to be on the go, and you you, know, you go to work on the subway or something like that, or you're in a carpool, and, or you're at work, you basically never have anything to do, and you have a, you always have a handheld on hand to play it because you're not doing anything important, then, you know, pick up the game and play it. Otherwise, if you're a big fan of RPGs, I think it's actually a nice game overall. It's not the best I've ever played in my life, but it's certainly a darn good one. You know, it's on par with me with uh, Final Fantasy XII, and I liked XII, so that tells you right there off the bat that I can recommend it. I mean, other than that, some of the more comical things I think I can add before I close this video out is the boob physics. I was laughing my ass off, because if you move your character even an inch, the boobs jiggle so freak. It's like I'm watching DOA on steroids. Like, I, I, I was like, holy shit. Didn't even realize it at first. My character is not fighting. And then the boobs go wiggle, 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 like jello. I'm like, what the hell? At first, I was going crazy. I thought maybe it was just some, some sort of magical glitch. I was wrong. I freaking go into the uh, character screen. I'm switching out the armor. And the boobs jiggle for no reason. I'm like, uh... 
I was confused and humored at the same time by that. I mean, it's like one of those silly things that are just really hilarious in the game, I think. Is it sexist? Sure, why not? But it's a funny kind of sexist thing, I guess. It's sort of that that uh, dry humor, that take with a grain of salt kind of thing. But, eh, whatever. You know, I've seen games before with uh, genitalia, some guy's crotch, like, jiggling like crazy, but I didn't get all freaking bent out of shape. But anyway, that's my opinion of the game. It's pretty good. It could be better, but, eh. You can't do too much with it, but at that point, it's also a... I would say it's a good game of this generation to be considered JRPG or an RPG in general. So, anyway, take it easy. Thank you all for watching.